Good morning everyone. Today is March 15th, 2020. It is 22 but feels like 2 here in North Idaho. I'm Jody and welcome to Moose Flats Farm. Mother Nature has decided that she's not going to give up on North Idaho. So as you see over my shoulder, we went out and bought a 100 gallon propane tank. I have a Mr. Buddy heater. Not sure if that's the exact brand, but just what we're going to call it. I'll show you that in a second. So we can protect the brassicas, because even though they can withstand some cold, these uber cold temperatures just don't work. They freeze out and <clears throat> have a little bit of money on that table. But this morning when I came out and uncovered it and got the fire going, which I'm sure you can hear crackling in the background, it was 54 under there. Because I took the cover off, the temperature gauge is dropping. But in this little heater we turn on in the evenings. And then in the mornings, because I've been working overnights, when I get home, as soon as it gets light enough that I can see what I'm doing out here, I come out and I switch to the wood stove. There's the little heater that we're using. And it's been cold the last week and everything looks really good. And I have a turkey waiting at the door. But we got a nice little fire going. So gonna be switching from propane to wood stove. Oop, wrong way. It was a little bit of an investment getting the hundred pound propane tank and getting it filled. But I think in the long run, having that insurance is going to pay for itself. Especially if one of the things we hope to do next year comes to fruition a lot better than the little five pound cylinders that normally go in this or doing a 20 pound barbecue tank where you're constantly changing it out so fingers crossed so as you can see mother nature and the wind and the snow have come back it was almost all gone Muscovy's there and then I saw the rest and why are you two just hiding out here <clears throat> well over here on the wall. And it's reading about 32 in here. Ooh, that's not good. Leaked on the wood stove. 
or it blew in. Probably blew in from there because that wind was howling good. Little propane heaters going good. So I'm going to get a wood a fire going. Yeah, wind was blowing in from around the door. I'll take little cracks like that. Wipe the stove off. Let's see what it reads under the plastic. So, it's saying it's 57 under here and 54 was below. And according to the tablet, it's 16 degrees outside. Hi guys. Well, now that we got a fire going, let's go get these guys some water and see how everybody's faring. Oh, look how much snow has blown in here. Hi, aren't you guys just a pretty bunch? Yeah, and then I got you some warm water. But I'm gonna bring your buckets in here. Oh. Hi Val. Well, that's nice of you sharing your house with the Muscovies. Yeah. And you may not notice, but uh, Angel and one other of the brown drakes I sold to a gentleman last night.
Let's go see if we've got a goosey egg. Yeah. Frozen babies. You don't see anything, but with the change of the weather, she could have not laid, whoa, laid one. No, it doesn't look like she did. It's okay, sweetheart. In the water dish, really? Okay, I'll go get you some grain. Fix our flag. Well, it looks like we're going to be buying a new flag. Got caught and got a tear in it. At least, I was going to say, at least with the wind coming out of the north, shouldn't have any blowing in here. No, nope, that's on the outside, so we should be good. Yeah, no blowing in here. Scratch these guys in their coop and check for eggs and go check on chicken box. Hi guys. Okay, everybody do the mass craziness. Okay, gotta get a bucket for those. So in here, get the GoPro at the right angle, I've got my little silky hen. And I put six brown eggs under her because she's gone broody. I've got a couple friends that are wanting some. baby chicks. Here, I'm just going to give you a couple more. There you go. Is that too many for you? Yeah, I'll be right out to get you your goodies. Coming. 
Hi, sweetheart. supposed to be over with. Hi guys. Box. Yes. Only one egg. It only got down to 54 under the tarp. Yeah, because huh? yeah, the back wall is reading 32. You're not supposed to be on there. So cold that my damp hands were freezing to the metal handle. Where did I? There they are. Oh, my glasses are fogged up. Was looking where my gloves were. Because it's cold enough that my hands were damp, they were sticking to the door handle outside. And yesterday, before this snowstorm started, that was all melted. Wrong spot. Here you go, sweetie. There. Have some fresh water. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Have some fresh water. Yeah, come on. Come on. There you go. It's not frozen. It's not. It's not. Yeah. Oh, we're being goofy. There we go. Yeah, nice warm water. Why are you over here, you silly chicken? What? 
Why are you guys over here? Well, I'll go get you some water and a scoop of grain. Check the fire first. Okay, you sit right there for a second. What, they won't let you up on the roost? And the main reason I just gave them a little bit of water is because with this wind chill, it's gonna freeze. So I'd rather have to unthaw just a little bit at a time. Okay, everybody's fed. That fire's going. Need to go make one for the, the house.
Don't pick the camera. Come here. Well, this is where I'm going to end today's video. And I did decide yesterday to bring chicken bock into the chicken coop itself just so she'd have a little warmer spot to be out of the wind. Yeah, didn't I? So I hope you all have a good day and a good week and we will see you on Thursday's video. Bye.